Welcome back guys, we're in the greenhouse again. I am doing a two, two parter uh, for this uh, um, growing adventure. Um, the beetroot are doing lovely. There's a few there's a few weeds here and there but I can pick it out. Um, there's nothing in those. The, I wanted to put some in there and I don't know what this is. I'm just going to stick it in that plant pot to see what happens. I have a pansy just there growing. No, no news on these carrots yet. Beetroot's doing good. Uh, nothing on the runner beans. Nothing on the sweet corn. And these are some herbs I put in the other week. Basil, parsley and another sweet a sweet basil and another basil little cucumbers doing all right and I think I think I have another one growing just starting there which is great thank god for that that is that's good because I just sort of stuck them in this pot since they weren't growing very well um I have Three of my own leeks that are just sort of, only three that have just started to germinate. Nothing in that yoghurt pot which was supposed to be the leeks. I did sow some new leeks out of a new packet in the cardboard one at the back. Parsley, it's not done anything yet. Neither has the courgettes, but they were only planted the other week. And lettuce, two different types of lettuces, but we'll see how they go. Um, I think I will have to transplant the tomatoes. I don't know whether to leave them another week and then transplant them into my cardboard pots. I'll leave them for another week and let them get a bit bigger. And I have, out of my experiment, it's just there, one tomato in there. Um, my bedding plants are starting to come out. There you go. And there's one of the morning glories. I have one one marigold there. Um don't know. I did have a look. Um yeah my sweet peas are just starting. I've just seen them. Um this is my compost bin and you remember that it was pretty much full to the top well and that's my extra horse manure that I put too much, brought too much, so I just stuck it in this bin and I just mix it in. So yeah, I have actually used a lot of this compost, and it's been really good. Look at those little plants. These are for a friend. These are the sprouts. These are for a friend. They're potted up in different pots. Yeah, um, yeah. This is the home grown compost and. We have one pansy that I planted a few weeks ago in the bark compost. And that's bark compost. And the stuff from my homegrown compost has germinated much faster than the bark compost. This this stuff in the pink packet, which is supposed to be a good compost, but it's not. Um, these are my other sprouts that are going off to the allotment when they're when they overtake the pots that's when I'll take them so and we're here at the workstation and yep I got my mum some of those pots um, these are my kale um, this was actually growing in one of the pots whether it survives or not because it's um, a bit broken there I could stick it in. So these are the kale and my little broccoli is looking a bit better so I'm going to transplant it into a bigger pot and I'm going to transplant my cabbages too because they're getting quite big for their pots as well. Um, my mate bought me, she'd been to the garden centre and she said 
she I told her that I was struggling with my leaks and she she bought them bless bless her um on the leaks five one so yeah even if those leaks don't materialise at least I've got these so I'm gonna put them in that bucket down there get them a bit bigger first before I take them over and my boss's next door neighbour Tim actually give me some lettuce so if they don't grow at least I've got some backup so um I better get cracking on on that and I'll show you afterwards I don't know whether to leave my tomatoes for next week I think they're doing okay I'll just wait until they're a bit bigger because I've got them some big cardboard plant pots for them to go in so um I'm gonna crack on and see how much I get on oh, it's gonna start raining in it I can feel it Ugh. that is typical I get everything set up and it starts to flaming rain well I'm gonna see how, how fast I can crack on so I'll see you in a bit yeah. Oh, um, there we go. We're in progress. Hi guys. Uh, got the broccoli in these cardboard ones, so when they get big enough, I can just split the sections and put them in the ground. I've done some kale in there as well, exactly the same. I've left these kale in, but put them down a bit further because one of these, I think, I don't know whether I'm going to give. I don't know how many my friend wants, so. I've got a few in there and a few in there. Uh, you've seen those. Seen those. Um, so I've put all my lettuces in these cardboard just to bring them on a bit more. And when they're big enough, I can chuck them out into ground as they are in these pots. I actually did do, actually did repot the tomatoes. I just thought since I had time, I just did it. Um, I did. The, I put the leeks in these in this big container just to bring them on a bit more. Um, let us, the sprouts are the same. Apart from these are in a tub and this is in a, a pot. So yeah. Um, so the next time you'll see me is on the allotment. I've got a bit of weeding and a bit of tidying, and we'll check on how everything is doing. And on that note, see you in the next clip. Welcome back, part two. So, I come down today. I had no, nobody informed me that they usually send everyone an email or leave some on the gate and saying when it skips to and blah blah blah. Now bear in mind I come on most days to walk the dog so I actually walk past the gates and everything. And there's a big old skip down at the bottom, but the only problem is it's nearly much flaming full. But my friend who comes down to my pot, who likes to chill out at my pot and stuff, she's been taking bits of my rubbish to the skip for me each time she's been down. She's been down to the skips and thrown my rubbish away, so I don't have much rubbish anyway. And that person shouldn't be riding that motorbike on that field because there's a sign saying that and he's been a complete dickhead. Pardon my French. So anyway, I couldn't help myself. There was a nice big pallet there and I thought, I can use that. Also, this was in it. A nice big old water tank from a central heating unit. Look, that's perfect for growing stuff. Um, there was a nice big, bigger big bit of tap of this and then I grabbed some of these tubes so uh, I don't know what I'm going to use them for but I thought they should be interesting maybe could do some carrots or do some parsnips in there or you know everything's sort of getting quite weedy because of the wheat because of the heat and the dramatic climate change we'll check on the carrot situation nothing yet but we'll wait it has been a bit cold um, strawberries are going crazy they should be flowering soon um, rhubarb is doing well 
Um, no signs of potatoes, but they are in there. They'll grow eventually. Um, onions, we have one down there. So they're doing pretty well. Cover that one over a little bit more because there's one exposed. So I'm going to just crack on, tidy up, do a bit of weeding before my friend comes down and uh, see what I can do. And on that note, we'll see you shortly. And uh, um, when we go to the garden centre, we're going to the garden centre, I will pick up some sunflowers and do the sunflower challenge. So I promise you that. I'll try. Maybe I'll do them in the garden because it's quite windy on here and they'll probably get damaged on here. So I'll do them in the garden where we've got a bit more of a fence to support them. So on that note, I'll see you in a bit. Welcome back guys, um, yeah, I've been, um, is the camera in focus? It, it seems sometimes it focuses and sometimes it doesn't, yeah it's in focus, so um, yeah I've um, been digging over the raised beds, um, I'm going to come down another week um, whenever I can and tidy up a little bit more I've tidied up a bit down there well it doesn't look tidy but I've had a good sort out to see if what's rubbish if I can get it in the skip which I've done um, I've done all these raised beds dug them all over apart from that that's the perennial I just took took the horse manure over pardon me um, I've, had, I've dug over this bed and I've dug over here, over there, and I've done inside the poly tunnel too. So I've basically um, tidied up in here. So I've got rid of as much weeds as possible. And sort of um, tried to do my best. I don't like using weed killer or pesticides because I think uh, I don't want to kill off the nave bug species, you know. Um, I've actually found out recently that ladybugs eat like white fly and stuff so um, I think in future I'll just grab a lot of ladybirds and stick them on my broccoli and stuff so this is doing still going strong um, I'm gonna have to pick it off soon done all these that's Mr. Rent as you can see, I've still got to like sort of tidy some edges off and move my compost thing over there. Um, and this thing is all in here is just all the clumpy soil that didn't break up. So I dug most of it over, but the other stuff I just chucked in there. I might plant some of it. Oh, it's around. My, my stalk is around. You gonna come and say hello? You can hear me in the shrub. I don't. I don't go close to him. He 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 followed me in the polytunnel. I was um like sat down picking all the weeds out of it, and he came right up to me. Oh, he's down at the bottom. Yeah, yeah I was like um weeding all around that bed, and I looked over, and he was he was there. He was there. Yeah, my little stalker. So I'm up for the. Uh, I'm going to try and do some flower challenge like all the other lotmenters, um, lotment life and uh, two plots of heaven and uh, Sam's allotment diary. I have these sunflowers which I'll try and plant down my little my little thing down here, but I'll put some in the garden that in the garden that hub. And these ones in probably that tub actually. So in that big tub that I got out of the skip. And yeah, um, um, I don't know whether it'll turn up if I go to the bottom and sit down. It probably will. But yeah, um, uh, I need to like weed around the strawberries and just tidy them up a bit because a bit of the things come up there and 
I must admit, Sam, um, since I put my strawberries in these these strawberries from the other hanging baskets, they're actually starting to look a lot healthier. So thank you, Sam. And uh, if you want, just call me Kaylee in the live stream instead of Dunn. I'm used to being called Kaylee. But if you still want to call me Dunn, that's fine. But my name's Kaylee. So if you're not sure, just call me Dunn still. But I'm called Kaylee. Um, and my channel name is Dunn in Jiffy. So please like, subscribe, and comment. And we'll hang about, see if he turns up, my Robin, but I don't know, he, he's been a bit shy tonight. Maybe because he wants me to bugger off home and so he can finish off looking for the rest of his dinner. I, I have actually left some wildflowers. My friend said it checks like the good insects for eating like the flies and stuff, so I've left. I left them on purpose so I could. It just gives it. it yeah, I know it looks a bit scruffy, but if it's wildflower, then I'm, I'm leaving it. So, but yeah, um, we were supposed to go to the garden centre, and she said she was going to drop me back off here afterwards. But we went to the garden centre off this. There's a garden centre down the road from here. And it didn't have the stuff she wanted. And it didn't actually have any sunflowers that I needed. So um, I uh, just uh, thought, yeah. We went off to another garden centre called Vitagra. I can see the robin. Sorry. Um, so we went off to Vitagra and I got some... I got some more... I got some backup cucumbers and a courgette. I also got some broad beans. I don't know what type but I also got some sweet corn as a backup uh, just in case and the and the uh, and the um, sunflowers for the challenge and then we went back to hers for um, a cup of tea and stuff and then she dropped me off back at home and completely forgot that I wanted to come back down and finish off me polytunnel but yeah I don't know if you can no you can't really see him but you can hear him you can hear him he's having a good sing song you can sort of see him hear him I don't know if I can zoom in oh that's shite sorry but he's, a, he's, he's the plant in there, he's just on the fence in front. I don't know if I could like, I don't know. <laughs> My mum said I should call him Bobby because she said call him Rocky at first. I went, Ro Rocky's a common name for a, a Robin. So she said, call him Bobby then, since he bobs around. So I've nicknamed, I've called him Bobby, the Robin. You right, Bobby? Yeah, he's quite happy singing. He's had a full belly of worms because he he like stays near me and he you know picks up all the wor picks up all the insects and worms. So oh, love that. I could sit here and listen to him sing all night if I wanted to, but I'm getting cold. actually a territorial call telling all the other robins that this is his patch so you know <sighs> I love it yeah so um, my fire bin the bottom sort of went through but my friend gave me this cage thing for bonfires the only thing is when it gets windy it'll blow out so I thought since it's got a good bottom since it's got a mesh bottom why not stick the fire bin inside makes sense to me and then it's on a level surface so 
I don't know whether if I'll move he might go. I'm, I'm gonna try and go around the other try and get up and see if I can get get a shot of him for you. Normally if I sit down he comes he comes around but he's been shy tonight. He's still he's still there, I can still see him. Just sort of make him out. There's my stalker. He's there. You can sort of make out what he is. Yeah. There he is. Buffed up singing. So we'll leave him to sing. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And we'll see you in the next video. What we, Bobby? Yeah? What with Bobby? Bobby the Robin. Yeah, you're cute. Bye for now.